Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in C++ and today we're going to be discussing constants, formatting decimals, and the switch statement which will actually take up most of the video so let's get started so first of all let's discuss constants what if we have a variable well it's not a variable, well let's just say we have a variable because that's what we've been dealing with so far and we want to give it a value, we want to give it the value and that value can never change we know for sure that that value will never change over the lifetime of the application. Well, would you really want it to store in a variable, you know, a piece of memory that can be changed? Hence why it's called a variable? Nah, no. no we want to put it inside a constant. And basically a, con a constant is kind of like the opposite of a variable. It still stores memory of a certain data type, but it makes sure it, it will make sure for you that it will never change value. So that's really, really important. So let's uh, create our first constants. Uh, first of all, when we create constants, we actually do it outside of any functions. Of course, we've only been dealing with one function, and that's the main function. But typically, they're at the top. So right here, we're without constants. And well, let's make our first constant. So what should we call it? Well, first of all, let's just actually talk about the format first. So first you'll type out the word const followed by the actual data type that you're going to give it. So what are we doing? Let's use a double. And let's call it tax federal. And well, we're going to have to set it equal to something because it's required to set a constant equal to something. So what should we uh Let's call it, I don't know, 0.15. I'm probably way off. I have no idea, but let's just say the federal federal income tax is 15%. Okay, so one thing I'd like to point out with constants, since we're going to be plugging this in inside of our code, we want it to be visible. We really want constants to differentiate themselves from other variables. Now, how can we do that? Well, typically, when we create our uh, our constants, we're going to actually capitalize all the letters. That's typically how you'll see code written. Now, it depends on your teacher, and it does depend on your boss, but typically, this is no good, because you plug tax federal income, you know, down here in your code, you might not know that it's a constant. So this is actually a way you can go about recognizing a constant when you see it inside of your code. So let's have something print. Let's call it, um, I don't know, int income. We'll have a C out that says... I don't know, uh, uh, what is your annual salary, and what should we have happen next, CN income, something like that, and then let's have a C out that says you will make, uh, let's see what we will make, we'll make income, times actually hmm income times tax federal now that will give us the 15 so we'll actually have to throw income minus this so now let's put some parentheses about this whole thing and I think that's the way it needs to be And sorry for the lack of commentary. This year. Okay, so let's see let's see how this will work. So let's run this with uh control F five. So what is your annual salary? Let's do an even hundred thousand. Is that ten thousand or hundred thousand? Oh well, we'll find out. You will make eighty five thousand this year. So let's see how this worked. So first of all, uh, we typed in our income, we set it equal to something, and basically what this little math here does, in case you can't tell, because uh, it is kind of complicated. First, we need to figure out uh, what our income was. We did. It's the 100000 Then we need to subtract whatever the tax federal will take away from us. In order to do that, we need to multiply our income by that, in by that tax. So basically, it's 100000 times 0.15, or 15%. And this left us with 15000 so then we subtracted this from whatever we started with. So 100,000 minus 15,000 gave us the 85,000. So that's how that worked. Whether federal income tax is that low, I doubt it. But 
but I don't know, so I can't I can't speak on that behalf. But oh well, uh, I might cut the video because I'm really thirsty. Oh my goodness, it's hot in here. Southern California, it's April and it's like 80 degrees in my room. Okay, so what's next? Next is, okay, formatting decimals. So this is really important. So what if uh, you're going to be doing some math and you don't want uh, a certain number of trailing decimals to appear, or maybe you do want a certain number of trailing decimals to appear. Well, what you can do is format the decimals. So let's figure out how you go about doing that. One method is to have this cout.setf and then inside this type in iOS colon colon and then you're going to type in fixed with a semicolon then see out uh, dot set f again followed by iOS colon colon show point then at the bottom see out dot uh, precision and then how many trailing decimals you want so first of all let's actually First of all, let's uh, put something in. So C out, we'll have it say, type in a number. And we'll create a double, because we'll be messing with decimals. We'll call it input, oh, whoops. And C in input. And we'll want to C out on the next line. Let's create another space with an end line. And well, let's actually print that input, whatever we typed in. And okay, so let's see how this works. So I click save and control F5. Type in a number, we'll type in two, and now we get 2.00. So basically what we did here is we access this fixed uh, piece of in memory inside, the, inside C++, and basically what this does is it tells you that, okay, I'm gonna tell you how, mu how many trailing decimals you can have and it cannot be changed, hence the fixed. And the show point is basically show the decimal and what's after the decimal. So these kind of go hand in hand, these two. You'll need these two. And then this, of course, is just how many trailing decimals you want. So typically we'll use the two. So that's one way to do it. There's actually a different way to do this. And this is from my other tutorial. I don't know why I have to include string here. Let's get rid of that. So we're going to want to include something else. Another, wow, I really can't spell today. I'm sorry. And we're going to want to include what's called IO manip. Manip is short for manipulation. And basically, that gives us the ability to manipulate things. So let's make this a comment here so you can still see it, since this is one way that you'll probably see all this. So now, with this gone, in order to solve our problem, we can now uh, figure out another way of doing this. So we'll type out C out, then our little hairpin thing in Majiggers. Fixed, then show points then set precision to there we go this should solve it solve all of it for us so let's try it again this time control f5 and now let's type in this time let's put in more than uh we didn't put any trailing decimals at all but let's put in 4.236 see what happens and now we get 4.24 so it'll only give us two decimals but also notice how uh, it rounded up for us so that's really important to know so that's about all I wanted to show you with this. So I'll throw this into a comment so you can see it as well. So bear in mind that you need um, you need this. Include IOMANIP so you can see that. Okay, you know what? I don't really have enough time in order to do it in this tutorial, so I'm going to show you the switch statement in the next tutorial. So I'll see you then.